Welcome to Playa del Carmen, Mexico. This video is going to take you out on the beach and we're going to go for a walk and check out the seaweed situation. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Just for context, we have a map here and I've already circled a section here at the end of Avenue Constituente in front of the Hyatt and the Hilton. This is where I normally walk, but we're going to head to this section right here. This is right by Park Las Fundadoras, right beside the ferry dock, right by the big Playa del Carmen statue and the Playa del Carmen sign. Here we go. Hola, here we are in front of the Playa del Carmen sign. Playa del Carmen, Mexico. It's about sunrise. Sunrise today, I think, is at 6:31. So we're probably looking at about 6:25-ish. Another beautiful morning in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Look at that sand. Uh, not a lot of wind today, but uh, it's just been beautiful down here in Playa del Carmen little bit of breeze there in the palm trees we are right by the ferry dock and uh, we're gonna head out on the beach here and we're just gonna have a little walk along the beach and look at the seaweed situation this is my 18th Saturday in a row doing these uh, Playa del Carmen beach walks man it's been a real Real fun time coming out here and doing these, but look at that. This is probably the worst I have seen it, especially in this section. The workers aren't out yet. They haven't really gotten to it yet. It has been so good lately. We've got a lot there in the water too, but this is nothing compared to this time last year. The workers will get out here and they'll get this cleaned up. And uh, it seems to kind of collect here in that corner against uh, the building there and uh, for the ferry area there. And it'll get uh, usually a little bit sparser as we walk along the beach here. This is one of the busiest beaches here in Playa del Carmen. I'll say top three busiest here. And this is right by Park Las Fundadoras. And we have the sign. Um, right here for Playa del Carmen, the well-known sign. And most of the big activities take place in Park Las Fundadoras here to the left. And I'll pan over here and let you have a little look. What's that chair doing there uh, in the middle of the beach? I'm not sure. But um, can't complain with the weather here in Playa del Carmen. Looks like it's going to be another beautiful day. But as we look down, this is pretty new seaweed. You can tell by the color of it. The darker it gets, the longer it's been on the beach, the more toxic it is. Usually in the first 24 hours, it's not really toxic. Once it gets past that 48th hour of it being on the beach or on the beach area, it tends to really stink and it is toxic. Toxic in the sense that you'll get headaches, upper respiratory issues, uh, runny kind of eyes and um, be some other kind of signs that the headaches are the big one for me but as we kind of go along the beach here you can see there's less and less of the seaweed and actually less and less of the beach I have really noticed the last I'm gonna say month there's been a lot of erosion uh, we've usually got the volleyball courts out here but it looks a little bit too windy there is the big well-known statue and Park Las Fundadores is right behind it. This is where they have the big New Year's celebrations and all the fireworks and all that sort of stuff. This is where everybody comes to hang out and the Palapas there. But uh, noticeable beach erosion, not that that's going to bother you, um, but there's less seaweed here than there was where we started and they'll be able to clean this up in an hour or so. Now, I have been on a number of Facebook forums and um, there seems between Cancun and all the way down to Tulum, there have been some kind of uh, heightened amounts of seaweed in the last little while. I'm going to say the last maybe uh, two, three weeks. Now, if you kind of heard me the last two weeks of my videos, they allegedly have some 
barriers out there. I think it's 8.6 kilometers of barriers out there to prevent the seaweed from coming in in certain areas between Cancun and Tulum. And I'm gonna say night and day between this time last year and now, this time last year you were stepping over a huge mound of 10 to 12 feet of big mound of seaweed. When you got into the water, you were gonna swim through it for the first 20 feet anyways before you got to some open water. So this looks awesome. I did not think I would still be down here in April. Um, as a result, we're down here probably for another couple weeks anyways because it just hasn't gotten to the point where it was last year. Last year in March, it was horrible. And I don't know if it's the, the winds, I don't know if it's the temperature of the water, I don't know if it's the barriers in place. They also have some boats out there beyond the barriers picking up this seaweed and they also have some special equipment on the beach here that's got a kind of a back loader that uh, kind of drives along the beach here and it picks up all the seaweed. So you've got the tractors, you've got these back loaders, you've got people raking and uh, have all the wheelbarrows. So uh, whatever they've done this year, it has been so much better than last year. Now a lot of people continue to ask me what's it going to be like in April, May, June. Now if you would ask me that in February, I would have said April last year was horrible. As a result, I would not be coming down here. But you look at this and you say this is still doable because this is 6.30 in the morning and by 11 o'clock the workers have this stuff all cleared out. So if you were coming, to, look at that sun just coming up over the horizon, just peeking its head up there. So I guess it is 6.31 now. Most workers are out here and they'll have this looking good by 10 or 11 a.m. So most people getting up at nine, having a little breakfast at the resort or their Airbnb and they're gonna come down here. Uh, if they're coming down here by 11, they won't even notice that there is seaweed. And even with this amount right here, you could still lay on the beach. It doesn't smell here because that's new seaweed. So, and if you look at the water, there isn't a lot of it hanging around there on the top of it. So I don't think there's really an issue here. I would still say thumbs up, everything's cool in Playa del Carmen with the seaweed situation. Even with where it is right now, no problem. And uh, like I said, they're gonna be cleaning it up in the next kind of few hours. Now, I have seen big amounts of it at certain resorts a little bit north of here. I think Puerto Morales had a bunch that came in the other day. So I'm not saying every day it's gonna look this good. It has been hit and miss since February 15th when I predicted it all would come in, but I'll say it again, it looks 10 times better than it did last year at this time. So if you're asking me what's May gonna look like, I have been proven wrong week after week after week. I said February 15th it was coming in, it came in, and then it just hasn't gotten any worse. And the government here, whatever they're doing, on a number of different levels with the barriers, with the boats out there picking it up, with the people on the beach here. They've got hundreds of workers now uh, coming along here and raking this stuff up. They've got big tractors, they've got these back uh, lifters that are getting rid of this stuff. So I'm gonna say, if you're still thinking about coming down here in April and May, I uh, have been proven wrong and I'm starting to become a bit of a believer here that this is still looking good. And it's gonna be another beautiful day. Not a lot of clouds in the sky. Sometimes you want just a little bit, especially look at that sunrise. So I'm gonna say beaches are still looking good here in Playa del Carmen, Mexico. Beautiful weather, beautiful sunrise. Why not come down? So uh, last year at this time, I would've said don't come down. But uh, at this point right here, I'm gonna say, hey, things are looking good. And I'll be back next Saturday, continuing to do these walks. I'm gonna say ciao for now, and I will see you next week in beautiful Playa del Carmen.